What's up YouTube? This is Matt and today I'm coming at you guys with a pretty cool video. This is about a really great PC deal I got off of eBay, parts from which I'm going to be using in a future build. I hope you guys enjoy. So I was browsing eBay one day for computer parts and I came across a listing for this PC. It was an auction with zero bids and it ended in 15 minutes. It seemed like a really good deal so I went ahead and made the minimum bid of $70. 15 minutes went by, no one else bid, and I won the auction. This PC was a great deal for $70. The specs are as follows. It features an Intel Core i3-2100 dual core processor with hyper threading. 4 gigs of RAM, a 250 gigabyte hard drive, and the best part of all, Windows 7 pre-installed. This is a small form factor HP computer that was more than likely used in some sort of business environment. On the front of the case there are a couple of USB 2.0 ports as well as audio in and out. The case can rest on its side or lay flat, neither of which orientations affect airflow. The side panel opens with a really nice, easy to use toolless system. Once opened up, you have access to all of the components. Most of the parts can be accessed without tools using this pretty cool flip up mechanism for the 5 and a quarter inch bay, which gives you access to an open spot for an extra hard drive, and the power supply flips up as well to give you access to the main system drive. The CPU heatsink gets air directly from the front by a 120mm fan directed by a shroud. The shroud is easily removable. Once the air moves past the heatsink, it passes over and cools the other components. The heatsink is relatively beefy and quiet using a combination of copper heat pipes and aluminum fins. The motherboard is a really weird BTX form factor that is a very old standard that was discontinued well before this computer was built, but for some reason HP felt the need to use it. On the motherboard there are 4 DIMM slots, a PCI slot, 2 1X PCIe slots, and a Gen 2 16X PCIe slot for graphics cards and other bandwidth heavy expansion cards. Throw in a low power graphics card and you could have a very capable gaming PC for very cheap. Like I said before, I'm using this PC for a future build. The parts I'm using are the CPU, RAM, hard drive, and operating system. Because this motherboard is a weird form factor, it can't be used in a standard case and there aren't any powerful gaming graphics cards that can fit into this case. Also, I won't be using the power supply because it would be pushed to its limits with the graphics card I'm going to use. And I would hate to ruin an entire system because I cheaped out on a power supply. Also, it's a weird form factor. So this completes my overview of the awesome deal I got on a PC from eBay. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up as well as consider subscribing. And this is Matt from Tech by Matt, signing out.